Welcome, my dear students. I'm Professor Rajiv Sudhir, still Professor of Commerce, Gopin Kashyap College, Nagpur. Today, we will discuss about the calculation of forward rate in the subject of principles of foreign exchange for the from sixth semester, Kannada University, Dharwad. Then, what is the forward rate? The forward rate is the exchange rate of transaction in which the exchange of currencies take place at a specified specified future date is known as a forward rate. The transaction has took for a specified future date. That the exchange rate we call as a forward rate. Then what is the spot rate? Spot rate it is the exchange rate at which spot transactions are carried out. On the basis of spot rate, to ascertain a forward rate. Before going to calculate the forward rate, we must know one thing that in a forward rates only two digits or pips are expressed. Example thirty bar fifty. That means these are the points. We call it as a swap points, forward points, or pip points. Actually, these are in a zero point three zero, zero point five zero. So this is as a zero point three zero as a bid price, and zero point five zero is a ask price. The next step: these swap points are added to the spot rate if they are in an increasing order. If these values are in increasing order we have to add these values to spot rate if these values are in a decreasing trend we have to deduct it they are deducted from spot rate if they are in a decreasing order if these p points are increasing order then we have to add this value to spot rate if these p Points are in a decreasing trend. Then we have to deduct in a spot rate. We take one problem from question paper. Assert in the forward rate for the following: the currencies are dollar to rupees and pound to dollar and euro to dollar. The spot rate for dollar to rupees is sixty three point six per seventy. That means sixty three point six zero is a bid price and sixty three point seven zero is a ask price. The thirty days forward rates are twenty thirty. This we call as a forward points, pip points, or swap points. And sixty days thirty per ten, ninety days forty per twenty. Then doll pound to dollar. The spot rate is one point forty bar fifty. That means one point four zero bar one point five zero. Thirty days forward points are forty bar thirty. Then thirty bar fifty. Twenty bar thirty. For a currency of euro to pound, the spot rate is pound one point two zero bar one point three zero. Even though they are given a bar thirty, it's a one point three zero. Thirty days. Forward points are thirty to twenty, thirty to fourteen, and forty to thirteen. Now we will calculate the forward rate on the basis of forward points and spot points. First, we will find the forward point, forward rate for dollar to rupees. So here, the particulars and the forward points or pip points for the thirty days, sixty days, and ninety days. We have to take the spot rate. It is the same for same for all the thirty days, sixty days, and ninety days. So the first, the sixty three point six zero is called as a bid rate in a spot rate, and sixty three point seven zero that we call as a ask rate. First, we will find the forward rate for thirty days. The thirty days forward points for dollar to rupees is a. Twenty to thirty as a forward points. Twenty to thirty. Please concentrate concentrate on here. The twenty to thirty means it is in increasing trend. Increasing trend means we have to add this value to spot rate. Sixty three point six zero plus twenty means it is a zero point two zero. Then we got the value sixty three point six zero plus zero point two zero sixty three point eight zero. The next thirty means instead zero point three zero, we have to add this value to sixty three point seven zero plus zero point three zero. We got the value sixty four rupees. For a thirty days forward rate is a sixty three point eight zero, and in a ask rate the forward rate is sixty four rupees. 
for 60 days forward rates we have to calculate the spot rate is the same what i told earlier 63.60 63.70 so look at here dollar to rupees then 60 days forward points are 30 per 10 it is in a decreasing trend what we have to do exactly we have to deduct these values in a spot rate the 60 days spot rate 63.60 63.70 the 30 means 0 0.30 63.60 minus 63.30 the value is a 63.30 the next step 10 means 0 0.10 minus 63.70 minus 0 0.10 63.60 the forward rate for 60 days are 63.30 per 63.60 as the same we have to calculate the 90 days forward rates the spot rate is the same 63.60 63.70 so look at here 40 per 20 it is in a decrease ten. so we have to deduct these values in a spot rate 63.60 minus 40 means minus 0 0.40 the answer is a 63.20 the next 20 means 0 0 0.20 63.70 0.20 63.50 so these are the forward rates for 90 days 63.20 bar 63.50 like that we have to calculate so other currencies as a pound to dollar this is a way as to calculate a forward rate on the basis of spot rate the next we will calculate for a another currency pound to dollar here the spot rate is a 1.40 and 1.50 which are given in a problem that's a uh, dollar pound to dollar the spot is 1.40 bar 50 that means a dollar 1.40 1.50 So spot rate that's a 1.40 1.50 this is the same for 60 days and also for the 90 days the next no problem the 30 days forward points are 40 to 30 40 to 30 means it's a decrease is 10 what we have to do we have to deduct these values in a spot rate 1.40 minus 40 $1, one and I ask price 1.50 minus 30 1.20 then for 60 days the spot is 1.40 and 1.50 to be dear 0 0.30 there in the problem is given 30 bar 50 it is an increasing trend we have to add it 30 bar 50 we have to take here in a decimal 0 0.30 so 1.40 plus 0 0.30 the answer is 1.70 1.50 plus 0 0.50 the answer is 2 then for the 90 days the spot rate is the same then 20 bar 30 that means it is an increasing trend we have to add these values you know spot rate 1.40 plus 0 0.20 1.60 the ask rate 1.50 plus 0 0.30 1.80 the form to dollar for forward rates are 1 bar 1.20 for the 30 days then 1.70 bar 2 for 60 days 1.60 per 1.80 for 90 days as the same we have to calculate the forward rates for euro to found in a euro to form they are given a spot rate as 1.20 and 1.30 this is the same for 30 days and 60 days and 90 days the next the swap points are forward points they are given forward points are 30 bar 20 30 bar means 0 0.30 0 0.20 30 bar 20 that means it's a decreasing trend we have to deduct the values in a spot rate 1.20 minus 0 0.30 the answer is 0 0.90 1.30 minus 0 0.20 1.10 then 60 days the spot rate is 1.20 1.30 the 60 day 30 bar 40 30 per 40 means a decreasing trend and uh, de increasing trend so we have to add this value to 
spot rate 1.20 plus 0 0.30, 1.50, 1.30 plus 0 0.40, 1.70. For the 90 days, 40 is the same, then 40 bar 30, it is a decreasing time, so we have to deduct this value in a spot rate, 1.20 minus 0 0.40, 0 0.80, 1.30 minus 0 0.301. So, euro coupon forward rates for the 30 days are 0 0.90 and 1.10. For the 60 days, forward rates are 1.50 bar 1.70. For the 90 days, 0 0.80 bar 1. So like that, we have to calculate the forward rate. In summary, we have to say that the forward rates for forward rates for dollar to rupees, the spot is 63.60 bar 70, that means 63.60, 63.70, 30 days forward rates are 63.80 64 60 days forward rates are 63.30 63.60 90 days forward rates are 63.20 63.50 then form to dollar the spot is 1.40 1.50 the next the 30 days forward rates are dollar one bar 1.20 then 60 days 1.70 bar 2 the 90 days 1.60 bar 1.80. Then euro to found forward rates. The spot rate is found 1.20 bar 1.30. The 30 days forward rates are found 0 0.90 bar 1.10. 60 days forward rates are 1.50, 1.70. The 90 days forward rates are 0 0.80. One. So this is the way to calculate the calculation now forward rates this asks for the 15 marks hope all of you have understand the calculation of forward rates thank you